Hey there YouTube, so here is how to connect your Bluetooth headphones to a Windows 10 computer preloaded with Windows 10 with Bluetooth built into the computer. So let's begin. <laughs> So, I did this once already for myself to test it out, but what we're going to do here is we're going to load up Bluetooth. And it's loading something. Um, Bluetooth settings. Clicking it, letting... Hmm, my computer's going slow for some reason. Um, and I'm going to just speak about one thing here. So, basically, this device had, was bought a couple weeks, uh, a couple weeks ago. It had Windows, it has Windows 10. It came with Windows 10, so that's requirement has to have Windows 10 and has to have the Bluetooth adapter built in. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the, your adapter, however you pair it, and then as it's doing its little pairing dance, I don't know what it is, you have to find it. So. It, I'm just going to click unknown. Hopefully that's it. While it's doing its little pairing dance. But I mean it takes some time. It took me a tiny bit to um to find it. So I just turned off the uh, PC. I mean my uh, thing and then I turned it back on. So, Bluetooth headset. That's it's called the Har um, Ontech Sport. It pops up with whatever your name is. You click pair. And then you just have to let that do its thing. I'm going to load up iTunes here just to show you that this is really connected and once that's done, you right click on the play on your um, it, headphones, Bluetooth 100%. You right click on the on the little the uh, volume thingy on it, and this. Then you go over here. You right click. You click on playback devices, and you make sure that. Your OnTech headphones are set as default. And then, once that does that, you can find any song. And you can just go through your list of songs here by skipping them. The buttons actually work. Like, Holding the up air is supposed to skip a song. And then I could pause the song. I could skip it. I could skip it again. Now over here on iTunes, they have a cool little button. So they just does that so that just shows that my headphones here which still are apparently connecting have just connected to my computer so it's simple you just turn it on you connect it I know on older versions like on my Windows 7 computer when I had Windows 7 on it even with the Windows 10 for some reason it really didn't connect to the computer to listen to music. I had to, I tried finding a workaround, but that didn't work. So now that I have Windows 10 and it came built in, it works. So 
I don't know what was different about it. I mean, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.